Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for any for thoughts. Today I would like to share with you my November TBR, which is all the books that I plan on reading during the month of November. I know that I've yet to do my October wrap up and that this video is coming up late, but I had a project due for university and wrap ups take longer to film and right now I really don't have a lot of time before my roommate comes back and I cannot film while she's at home. Not because she would mind, but because I just get extremely flushed and embarrassed because I'm an idiot. And so I have to be alone <laughs> to film videos and that only happens in the mornings when I don't have class. It's not a huge time window, you know what I mean? But anyway, since I don't have a lot of time, let's just jump right in into the TBR. I know that November for, you know, the English speaking part of booktube means nonfiction November, which is basically trying to read as many nonfiction books as you can in the month of November. Now, I won't be participating in nonfiction November for the simple reason that there are quite a few books that I want to get to this month that are fiction, and so I wouldn't have time to read nonfiction. But still, I want to make an effort to at least read one nonfiction book this month, and that would be. The Lonely City by Olivia Lang. This is the Italian edition and I think it's pretty cute. I really love what they did with the cover. But anyway, I don't... I'm not quite sure what this book is actually about. I know that it deals with loneliness, as the title suggests, and it has something to do with art, but I've heard amazing things about this book and I know that it talks about loneliness and I've read some quotes here and there that were taken from this book and I just was in awe at how beautiful they were and so I knew that I wanted to read it so this is the nonfiction book that I will be reading this month. Next is another book that might be considered nonfiction, maybe, that would be a stretch but still it is Motherhood by Sheila Hetty. This is about a woman who is in a relationship with a man and they are thinking about having children but she doesn't want to and it deals with how society sees women, how women are expected to have children in order to feel fulfilled, I guess. Like, in order to be a woman, you have to have children. No. Spoiler alert, you don't. I'm saying that it might be non-fiction because even though it is a fiction book, it should be based on the author's own life. It should be inspired by her own thoughts and ideas and her perspective regarding this matter. I cannot wait to read this because I think that my own ideas and my perspective might agree with the author's own one because I don't think that you have to have children in order to be and to feel like a real woman and I don't think I want to have children of my own when I grow up. Still haven't made up my mind about that and I'm still very young to think about that but it is the reason why I cannot wait to read this book and see how it deals with this topic. Then there are two books that have already come out in the US and in the UK, but they are being released this month in Italy. And that's the excuse that I needed to finally decide to pick them up. The first one is The Tie That Binds by Kent Hubruff, and this should be the prequel to his Plain Song trilogy, which I haven't started yet, but I read our Souls at Night, I think that's the title, Our Souls at Night back in January and I absolutely fell in love with that book. It was just beautiful and so sweet and amazing and I want to read something else by this author and so since the prequel is coming out I'm going to read that one first and then go on with the Plain Song Trilogy. The other one is Melmoth by Sarah Perry and I think I'll be reading this one first because there's an event 
with the author. She's coming to Italy for an event on the 17th of November. I would like to have read the book before meeting her and I am so excited. I cannot wait. I haven't read The Essex Serpent, so this is going to be my first approach to her and I cannot wait. I don't know what this book is about. I don't want to know. It's quite short, but I do know that it's set in Prague and it has something to do with a mythological figure. That's all I need to know. If I manage to read all these books and I still have some time left in the month of November, there are two more books that I really want to read. I have ordered them and I'm waiting for them to come in the mail. And I'm so excited about them because they are written by authors that I absolutely adore. And The Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness. I haven't read all that Patrick Ness has ever written, but all the books that I've read written by him, they're my favorites. I just absolutely love them. And this one should be a retelling of Moby Dick, but from the perspective of the whale. It is quite short and it is illustrated and it reminds me of A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, which is one of my favorite books of all time because that book is just pure art. And the other one is a new release by the amazing, brilliant, genius, one and only Brandon Sanderson. And he is my god, okay? He is the god of fantasy, according to yours truly. This is the beginning of a new trilogy or series. I don't know. It's a series. I don't know if it's a trilogy, but it's a series and it should be YA, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. No idea what it's about. I know that it's not pure fantasy, it's more sci-fi, and I usually don't like sci-fi, but it's Brandon Sanderson, so of course I was gonna buy that book, of course I'm going to read that book, of course I'm going to love that book, so I cannot wait. I don't know if I'll get it before the month is over, but as soon as that book is in my hands, you can bet your asses that I'll be reading it because it's Brandon Sanderson, okay? So that being said, this is it for this uh, TBR. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books, if you're excited about any of these books, if you want me to read a book first before the others and tell you about it. I don't know, just tell me in the comments because you guys know that I love talking to you. And I'll see you soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Warm hugs.